Good morning. Um, I wanted to take this time, since we can't be together, um, to talk with you a little bit about Nurses Week. And I wanted to reflect on some of the last couple of months that we've been through. First, I'd like to take um, time and read some letters from our patients. This is just a note to thank you for the great care you've taken of my mom. She is weak and exhausted, and her body has been pushed beyond belief. But I saw you squeeze her hand yesterday, and it made my heart swell. Sometimes it's human compassion that sees us through. And while you definitely have a tough job, it's the human connection that heals too. And then from another, from another patient, as a very young patient, 24 years old, my nurse helped me through a very difficult journey. She saw me as more than a patient, she saw me as a person. She was compassionate and empathetic. She was kind and patient. She did what she could to alleviate my anxieties, to modify my care to include, to include good quality life, and to make me feel heard. She tried to find alternatives to help me overcome my nausea, my vomiting, and my fatigue. She was always willing to take my phone calls and got back to me as soon as she could. As someone going through such a terrible time and feeling so vulnerable, she did everything to validate my feelings and to make me feel heard. And then finally, let's be real. Cancer is a dark and scary place. We are constantly looking for that ray of hope, that flash of light, that feeling that we're going to be okay. My nurse is that light, that hope, which we desperately need. Her voice is always soothing and positive. She stands by us in good times and bad. As a cancer patient, especially a stage four cancer patient, having to get infusions for life is daunting. And it's terrifying having to go to Carmanos every other week can be a bit depressing. But knowing I will see my nurse, it always brings a smile to my face. She does the good luck happy dance for me before every scan. She has cried with me when we've gotten news that we didn't want. I will never be happy that I have cancer, but I am blessed with the amazing people that it has brought into my life. Now what I'd like to do is I'd like to take just a couple of minutes and, um, and reflect with you on what I have seen over the years, but maybe in particular over these last few months. So when I look back on our years together, I've always been impressed with your knowledge, your skill, and your compassion. But when I reflect on these last months, um, I think of the care that you have given our patients when they've been alone, they've been frightened, they're vulnerable, and they are sick. I remember the times that I've seen you with your colleagues, and your colleagues are frightened and they're exhausted. I've seen the support that you've given them. You have always demonstrated, um, you have always demonstrated competence. But I'm not sure that I can put into words how moved I've been as I've witnessed your incredible courage and kindness during these most challenging times. I am so proud of you. I'm proud um, to be the chief nursing officer at Carmanos. I'm proud to be associated with you. And I want to thank you and, um, and wish you a wonderful Nurses Week.